Hello everyone, I am Crooked and I do stuff, and this is Unscripted, the series where I take a completely unscripted look at games and give it a 1 through 10 rating. Today, we are playing Clock Tower. Uh, this was actually a recommendation for this whole horror month by my buddy, uh, Drewski. Um, so, a little bit of backstory on this game. It is a Japan-only release. Um... From my understanding, though, it does have a lot of playability, even if you don't speak Japanese. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get in and get to it. It is a horror game, uh, so, <laughs> I mean, what a better time. Um, so far, it starts out with a lot of unskippable stuff, which is fine. Looks like a group of uh, people walking through the woods. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, people on a business trip. Uh, that's the kids from Spy Kids, obviously. Um, the one on the right is like the the kid who's married to Megan Trainer. The one on the left is Alexa Vega, obviously. Um, not Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but like the actual Spy Kids. <laughs> um. I'm sure there's a million different English translation patches out there as well. Uh, I don't have one, so there's that. So I have no idea what's going on with the story at all. Uh, if you speak Japanese, you might. Uh, if Well, not if you speak. If you can read Japanese, you might. Um, I can read characters here and there, but that doesn't really help me out very much. Okay. Uh, so... You can pause here. Uh, you can't really do much else. Kind of weird. They're just walking along. Um, yeah. Uh, so far, I mean, it's only been a couple of minutes, but I can't do anything, and that's kind of driving me nuts. Uh, I really like when games let you just get into it. If you want to skip story, you can. If not, then that's fine too. Okay, so... Now I... Oh, this is kind of point and clicky, isn't it? Uh, okay, so she said something. Useless for me. Um... This might be a game that I'm eventually going to have to come back to. And the reason why I say that is uh, it seems pretty text heavy. Uh, and that's kind of a problem. I mean, I'm sure there's some degree where I could kind of fuddle around and figure out a couple things. But honestly, this seems like a point and click adventure and like you might need to be able to speak the language to do it um maybe not we're gonna go through it a little bit uh in terms of sound it kind of nails the creepy vibe by not having music you can hear footsteps so that's something but uh, there's not much else um wow this is rough so, you can change the direction they walk by hitting L and R. Uh, y makes them stop, or X makes them stop moving. Um, y makes them start moving. B and A, I have no idea what they do. Uh, hmm. Select does nothing, start pauses. I'm going to talk to this person again. Or I don't believe I talked to this person. Yep, yep. They're going to say some stuffs. Okay. Okay. Oof. So. Oh. Was that door open before? I don't think it was. Let's go through the door. Yes. Go through the door. Go, go through the, go through the door. Uh, 
I ran, but I don't know how. And I ran. Oh, I guess you can hit A to run. Wow, yeah, I honestly have no idea at all what I'm doing. Um, this is rough, because uh, this game's pretty, like, known. And I don't think that it's playable without an English patch. Uh, you might be able to, like, use... Oh, does L and R run? How did I run? I, I'm trying to figure that out. Because sometimes I run. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just turn around. Every now and then. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Controls-wise, I mean, they're pretty confusing controls in the sense of I don't know what I'm doing and why I'm doing. Uh, it is point and click to that degree, so I'm sure there's plenty of resources. And again, any game like this, if you are using like a guide or a walkthrough or something, um, it, it will make it easier and a lot more playable. Uh, if you don't have access to that for whatever reason, it's going to make it pretty difficult to get anything done. Uh, especially in this one, because it's a completely different language. Um, without knowing Japanese and without having a guide to tell me what to do, I would say that this is entirely unplayable. Um, if I'm going to try to find an English patch for this to see if I can kind of reapproach it and play it again. Um, again, it's a game that has a following. It's a very well-known game. But as of right now, this is completely unplayable. And it's not something that I think anyone would enjoy. Uh, in the same sense of I don't think anyone playing a lot of English-only text-heavy games that they're going to have a lot of fun without knowing English or having a patch. Um, yeah, that that's really what it comes down to. I want it to be more than this, but there's just, there's nothing here. So, uh, with that being said, like any game that I feel is unplayable, uh, this gets a zero out of ten because I don't have any way to play it. Um, if you want to see me play this and you happen to know where a ROM hack or something is where I can play it in English, please comment down below. Let me know. Um, cause I, I would like to give this game a more fair review of something that I can actually play. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed what you saw. Hit that subscribe button, that way you never miss out on an episode of Unscripted. And hit that notification bell, so that way you'll be notified whenever a new episode comes out. And with all that being said, I do want to thank you for watching Unscripted. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye!